Hey everyone, what's going on? It is Cynical, it's City Gamers. Welcome back to Small Minecraft on Xbox today. I'm actually bringing you guys a Hunger Games map that is built by myself with my friends. So first off, let's take a look at the rules and creators and all that stuff, and then I'll explain to you guys why we built this. First off, the rules here, pretty simple, pretty obvious, no breaking blocks. So you cannot break the glass to get out of the Hunger Games arena, you have to stay in there, which is rule number two. And when you're killed, do not jump back into the arena. There is a way to spectate, which, I mean, you can do that if you'd like to, but don't jump back down, because obviously that's, again, cheating, unless you guys decide to do, like, double lives or three lives or whatever you want to. I don't, you know, don't really have to, but let's see. The creators are, of course, myself, Acidic Phoenix, and Acidic Raiden, I believe that's how we pronounce his name. So, YouTube channel is in the description, of course, mine, and then my friend Jeff's, so there you go. And the map details, info, whatever. This map is called Cell Games, as I'm sure you guys know. And it is inspired by the Cell games during the Cell saga of Dragon Ball Z, and of course, hopefully you guys will all enjoy. So, obviously, some people are wondering why my name is Super Saiyan Gamers. I do enjoy Dragon Ball Z, and this is realistically like the first real thing on my channel lately that actually makes it seem like that. So, um, first off, if you guys will wonder why this map looks pretty, pretty blandish, just look up the Cell saga, the Cell games, and you'll understand why it looks like this. So, when you guys spawn in here, you're going to spawn down here or up here if you spawn up here just jump down into this little hole and it will you know you guys can see all the rules or whatnot or of course if you don't want to see the rules you can just take this minecart up to the area so when you guys are ready you go ahead and take a minecart and i'll go ahead and do it as well and then you put it down hit the bouton and go off in your merry way into the starting area of the hunger games arena so First off, there's no redstone work going on here for you guys to get like pushed up and then go. So pretty much you have to wait for the host to count down from 10 or 5. And then when he says zero or go, you guys will jump down through your hole and then start the match. I think it helps with lag because there's really not much redstone work going on. There's one main redstone thing in the actual map and then there's like one redstone torch going on down like right there. So redstone lag is pretty minimal. And once you guys all jump down, the match has started, so as soon as you hit the floor, start running, go to the cornucopia, get your materials from those chests, and start killing people. And you may notice that obviously it is pretty small, and it's small for a reason, but I will actually link a picture in the description of the Cell games, and you guys will see that it looks pretty similar. I mean, we did the best we could in Minecraft, and I like these smaller maps. I don't know about you guys, but I find the best maps in the PC or Xbox to be the smaller maps because... They're really nice, they're really simple, they're really fast paced, and it's just overall a really fun experience playing with them. So that's why we built this, it was one of the reasons we felt like building it last night. And yes, we actually did build it last night, we spent about like 4 to 5 hours on it last night. So it was pretty fun, it was a pretty fun build to do, I don't really do many builds like this, so I really enjoyed it actually. We may actually do more Hunger Games in the future, of course that'd be you know small and pretty simple again because those are my favorite types of Hunger Games. Anyways, moving along, the chests in this map are pretty balanced in my opinion. You have a good variety of food, stone swords, you know, armor, things like that. And there actually is one hidden chest, which you guys will have to find a lever for when you flip the lever. Somewhere on the map will open to where you get a special chest with a bunch of really awesome items in it. Now, you probably want to find this chest pretty fast, or if you guys play it and know where it is, you probably want to, like, try and make that your goal to go straight there, because... It could be very, very effective for you in the long run, and I definitely recommend going for it. And other than that, don't underestimate the size of this map. It is pretty big when you're actually in it, and it could result in some pretty fun, fast-paced, entertaining Hunger Games matches. I definitely think it will. Hopefully you guys will also think that as well. And if you guys think this map's pretty sweet, make sure you guys leave a like rating, especially for my very first Hunger Games map, pretty much like the acidic built map, because obviously everyone who built this was kind of in my like four person clan so yep that's pretty much it for that hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video like the video if you guys enjoyed share the video around to get the map more downloads because i would like people to have fun on this map hopefully they will and subscribe if you guys are new and other than that i'll talk to you all later have a nice day guys peace out